I am happy to bring you all another highly requested cook. Guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. It is greatly appreciated. Guys, so look, what I got for you today is a uh, four pound farm raised Atlantic salmon. I got this at my uh, local Costco. And look, the first thing you wanna do when you pop this puppy open, get some paper towels handy. Get it on the board. So the first thing you gotta do here is you wanna feel for any uh, pin bones that they may have left in the uh, salmon. And just basically feel along here. You kinda go against the grain, sorta. And this one actually feels pretty good. And obviously we got the skin removed on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this end up a little bit, cause this is just gonna overcook. So I'm gonna take a little, uh, little slice off here. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that bad boy. And so look, what we're gonna do here is we are gonna dry brine this salmon in a mixture of a, a two to one ratio of some kosher salt and brown sugar. We'll dry brine it, we'll get it in the fridge, we'll let it sit for approximately four to six hours, maybe seven hours, we'll take it out, we'll let it sit again for another hour or two, and then we're gonna get it on the um, Char Griller 980. I think we're gonna go for about 250 and that should take us about an hour or so. We wanna get it up to about that 140, 145 range, and that should give us a nice flaky, uh, moist salmon. But the thing I wanna show you, which is gonna be coming up in a little bit, which is a tropical salsa that I am gonna make with this. That is a fresh salsa that is gonna pair so good with this, uh, with this salmon. Guys, so look real quick before we get going here, a couple show announcements, my web page is up and running and on that page I have some merch it's a fresh section I got some fresh merchandise up there I got hats shirts gonna have aprons flags and just a whole lot of stuff so again I'm gonna link that down below if you want to check that out I so look I want to thank Femi for sponsoring this show they've got a lot of kitchen appliances in their uh, in their Amazon store. If you want to check that out, I'll have a link down below and we'll talk more about them as the show goes on. But hey man, the good news here for you guys, I'll be giving away one of these suckers on Sunday night on my live chat weekend wind down slash giveaway. I'll be giving away one of these food processors. So hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and stay tuned as I give you uh, a little more info on that. So look, you can add anything to that summer salsa that you think would uh, go good in there, and it probably will. We got salmon, brown sugar, kosher salt, lemons, limes, oranges, mango, papaya, apple, peppers, and red onion, amongst maybe some other things. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So look, on this dry brine, the uh, rule of thumb here is a two for one ratio. That is two cups of brown sugar one cup of kosher salt. Next up, what you want to do is give it a, a good mix. Get your hand in there. You want to incorporate that stuff nice. So look, there's all kinds of brines. You can do a wet brine, a dry brine, or no brine, right? You can just grill the salmon. I kind of tend to the dry brine. Basically here, you are going to spread that uh, that mixture down about the size of the uh, salmon, right? Because you're going to lay that salmon right on top. There you go. A 
and basically what we're going to do here is we are going to cover the uh, top with the uh, with the dry brine and that is going to pull all the moisture out of the salmon and i'll tell you what man it just does it, it just does the salmon right man this is the best salmon that you'll probably ever make I mean, I enjoy this so much better than grilled salmon, yet we always seem to grill it because it's the most easiest. But you take the time and do this, and you'll never look back. I guarantee you. So look, we are going to pinwheel these up. You might have seen these pinwheels in the... Uh, in the local market so they're the they're usually the end cuts when they square it off and they uh, kind of pinwheel it up and sell them for 20 bucks All right, guys, so look, I'm gonna get a piece of Saram wrap on this puppy right here. I'll get it in the fridge. And like I said, we're gonna let this go for about six hours or so. Then I'll bring you guys back when it's time to unwrap it. All right, guys, look, let's take a look at some of these summer flavors that's gonna go in our salsa. Of course, first up is a, uh, a nice papaya, right? You can tell it's ripe. Just like a uh, mango, you press it and you get that little indentation. So we're gonna go with a little papaya. A little mango, of course. I've got an orange, I wanted to get a blood orange, but my local market had none in stock. Of course, we got some uh, Jersey tomatoes are gonna go in there. Gotta have a little crunch I'm gonna put a little red onion in there. And of course, I got some Jersey corn. This is gonna go in uncooked. If you've never had corn uncooked, you should definitely give it a try as it is juicy and it is good. Oh, yeah. First, we've got some limes and some lemons that we are gonna dress up the fish. I may put an apple in there again for some more crunch. And of course, I've got an avocado. And also, we got to do a little cilantro. I know a lot of people don't like cilantro, but hey, man, for a summer salsa, it's got to be in there. And I can tell you that cilantro definitely did the uh, trick. And you see, we got some onions, papaya, we got some oranges, mango, we got red, yellow, and orange peppers. And we got some Jersey tomatoes in there. And we got some apples. So look again, I want to thank Fimi for supplying this uh, stand mixer to the show. And hey man, tune in, stay tuned, because I may be giving one of these suckers away. Oh yeah. And this is your basic setup stand mixer. It kind of locks right in there. No different than any other mixer. Same thing with the uh, same thing with the top, right? You want to get it in there, and it just kind of locks in place. And on that dial, you got your cutting, your slicing mince, of course, a shredding fine, a shredding, and uh, kneading some dough, of course. You know, like any new product, you get your own little tips and tricks. This is the first time turning it on, so I'm gonna figure things out along with you guys. And basically, I am moving between uh, one and two to get the uh, right consistency, and I'd say it did pretty good. So 
so we will get our uh, peppers out and we will load it up again. And this time we will throw in some quartered out red onion. And I could tell you as I used this uh, food processor, I got more used to it. And see there, you just turn it on, let it run, and shut it off at the right consistency. Oh, yeah. Here you go. And that made pretty quick order right there. Oh, yeah. So look, we will move right along. We will get our apples in. I'd say that did pretty good. Oh yeah, I'll taste. You know, I wanted to give you this uh, real time, anytime I'm doing a kind of like a product review or using a product on the show that has been given to me. No tricks here, man. I want to use it as if it's the first time I'm using it, but you know, I don't want any quick cuts, quick edits. I'm just going to use it and let it work. You know, like next up is the uh, all tough tomato. Oh, you say tomato, I say tomato. Here we go. Now, of course, with the uh, tomato, you're gonna get a little bit of liquid in there. I could have did these by hand, but again, man, I wanted to do it. Just wanted to do it for you guys to see what it is. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'll get the uh, chunks out right there and I'll leave the liquid in the bottom of the bowl and that's that. And look, I've had enough of uh, kind of playing around with this. I'm just gonna dump everything in, the uh, mango, the oranges, and the papaya. Let's go to town. There you go. <laughs> and now again, I know we're gonna get a little bit of liquefy, but that's okay because we're gonna get all the uh, good chunks that we want. A little liquid never hurt. Here we go. Oh yeah. And I'll tell you, that's a, a summer tropical salsa garden fresh right there, but we're not done yet. If you've never had corn, raw corn, right off the cob like that, you definitely want to give this a shot, man. It is packing a lot of juices and is uh, just really, really good. And it is going to give you the crunch that you're going to want inside that uh, salsa. Cilantro never hurt. Come on. I am not a huge fan neither, but hey, man, some dishes just uh, just kind of go with this cilantro, and this is certainly one of them. But hey, man, if you don't like it, leave it out as it is your salsa.
All right, guys, look, that is our summer salsa here. And I think this little food processor did a pretty good job on some tough fruits. Okay. All right, guys, look, here it is right here. And that's about six and a half hours in the fridge. I did do it unwrapped in my edits. I saw, I said I was gonna wrap it in ceram wrap. I didn't do that. Not sure if it makes a difference or not. I just figured I wanted to let the moisture just kind of, uh, kind of like leave the uh, salmon, right? So look, I'm gonna take this in the house. I am gonna wash it off under cool running water, get the pit fired up, 250 Fahrenheit, and get this bad boy on the pit. I'm thinking about an hour or so. I'm gonna have cherry smoke chunks mixed in with the uh, with the fuel. And also I'll put one down in the ash catcher. We are running Jersey Devil all the way today. Oh. This is where we are. I got the pit coming on up to temp. Basically what you want to do, I didn't want to bring you in the house, just run it under cool, not cold, cool to even lukewarm water. Get everything off the uh, fish, the, um, you know, all the dry brine, all the liquid, pat it dry with some paper towels. And remember, anything you put on as far as seasoning, I would stay away from the salt and I would even stay away from the sugar. Basically what I got on here is I went with a little lemon lime and also I got some black pepper and some granulated garlic. Oh, that sounds good. I'm gonna uh, let this hang out here for about 10, 15 minutes. It's a good idea. You can even let it hang out for an hour or two and it'll tack up and get sticky. I don't have the time for that. So right now it is like a uh, rubber type texture. 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Then I'll get her on the pit, and I'm looking at about an hour now. I'm gonna control the temp inside my pit with an external thermometer, because I want it exactly about 250 Fahrenheit. And again, we're gonna bring it up to about 140 Fahrenheit, get it off, and you can let it come to room temperature at that point and serve it with uh, whatever you're serving it with. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, look, that is it. About an hour and a half or so. We hung right around that 250 Fahrenheit. Let's get it on the board, get it dressed up, a couple snaps. We'll take a little taste test and a couple closing thoughts. Yeah. All right, guys, look, man, I mean, hey, what could one say? I mean, look at this thing. This is exactly, you know, this is exactly what you, you would expect it or, or how you would expect it, it to look after you uh, smoke this. It's definitely, uh, you know, again, I, I tasted a little bit of the uh, pinwheel, and it is definitely better than, say, like a grilled salmon. It just has that classic smoky smoked flavor i guess you could say but one thing I, one thing i would say is it is definitely a moisture and the moisture inside is definitely through the roof compared to when you grill it it's you know it's it's moist but it's 50 50. well this is just uh you know it's it's crazy with moisture i'm just going to go in here remove this just so you guys can get a good look You know, again, when you cook this thing to the uh, temp that you're supposed to cook it at, well, this is exactly what you're going to get. You know, it's too, it's too flaky to pick up. So, look, I am on keto, unfortunately. I am going to do just a quick taste test. I've already got the approval from the wife. And, yes, the keto is in the... Uh, and the uh, salsa. So let me just go in on the uh, fish. Again, very flaky. Nice smoky flavor. 
the uh, pepper and granulated garlic is right there. The lemon is right there. And it's just got that classic smoky type taste, man. I, I, I love it. <laughs> I got to... Uh, I'm just going to cheat just a little bit. I want to get some of that crunch. I mean, I have to. This will knock me right out of uh, ketosis, but uh, hey, man. I got to say, cheers. Whoa. And of course, we got some of that corn in there. Mm. That's crazy. Guys, it is crazy, man. That summer salsa just takes it through the roof. The uh, cilantro just hits the right note. Um, I got some crunch with the apple. I like that. I also got a little red onion in there, and I also got the uh, sweetness of the papaya along with the smoky flavor of the fish. I mean, hey, man, what else could you want? I mean, this is the summer of 21 in full swing right here with the smoked salmon. Guys, don't forget, stay tuned on my Sunday night, and let's see if I could square the deal away where we'll give away one of those... Uh, food processors it's going to be this sunday night or next just stay tuned i'm going to roll my patreon and youtube join members i appreciate all of them i appreciate all of you and hey man if you've not commented before but you'll watch the show leave me a comment down below and say hi so that is it until next time we will see you soon